My name is Debbie Harrington, and I am the president of the Al Council of Albuquerque Garden Clubs um, in Albuquerque um, for 2015 through 2017. The Council of Albuquerque Garden Clubs was started in 1950 by a group of individual doctors and their wives um, in order to have a place to study and learn and educate the public more about gardening in our local area. Um, and in 1975, they built the Albuquerque Garden Center, which is within Los Altos Park. Um, it is a privately funded um, by our own members um, facility. We do not receive funding from the city or the county or the state, um, so we raise our own money. Our goals and, and our mission is to educate the public um, in the surrounding area about what grows well here, how to grow those things, um, floral arranging. Um, we offer a lot of programs for children in the schools and have children's camp. Um, but mostly our mission is just to educate the public and help them out in uh, providing gardens and starting gardens. Yes, um, we do offer at the Garden Center, we have about 800 members of our own and that includes um, a lot of master gardeners who have gone through the master gardener program through Bernalillo County Extension. Um, but we also have uh, 16 different member clubs. Um, some of them are specializing in um, a certain plant or uh, area such as Daylily Society, Rose Society. Um, we recently re acquired the uh, Mycological Society, which is the study of mushrooms and um, hunting mushrooms, growing mushrooms, etc. So we're pretty varied, but um, in this day and age with uh, all the emphasis on pesticide free and and all that there are a lot of people that are wanting wanting to learn how to grow things that they can grow without pesticides and they know where they came from and how healthy they are um, there's also a strong uh, emphasis um, in recent years to go to um, more what I call urban farming where you have you may have those five or six um, egg laying chickens and and um, a beehive of your own to help pollinate your crops and your fruit trees etc um, and then they are always wanting to learn how to um, prolong that crop as far as the number of seasons that they can grow tomatoes, etc. Um, but also how to preserve um, through canning and freeze drying, etc. for their families. Okay, well our master gardeners um, go into the schools, I believe it's fourth grade, um, and that's in conjunction with, I believe, Bonnie plants. Um, but um, we, uh, I am a member of several different clubs within the group, and I myself had two clubs up until this year um, my presidency and the two clubs didn't work well together but I had a club at Double Eagle and and then I had a club um, at Monsanto Mesa Elementary School and in one of those I had 56 students and the other ones I had uh, 20, 20 to 25 and we planted um, flowers in the flower beds out front um, APS is limited on beautification they put in great trees and, and water sources but they don't do much as far as the extra landscaping so it's nice to see see that be done that the community can enjoy and take pride in but more than anything I some of my best memories are working with children that have never played in the dirt or planted a seed and watched it grow or put in a flower bulb and seen the daffodil come up the next spring and that type of thing and um, when we do that we also teach them about the importance of growing their own food and and um, that it is healthy to eat vegetables and not you know fast food and junk food and um, I I have found that children will eat almost any vegetable if they grew it. A grant from Albuquerque involved would um, help us right now to um, make some capital improvements to our aging facility. Like I said, the facility was built in 1975. Last year we put on a portion of our new roof, which would cost us over $20,000, um, and we still have more roofing to do. We also are in dire need of um, a new paved parking lot um, and restriping, um, and our coolers and our HVAC systems aging. And this is where our 800-something members meet each month, some meet a couple times a month, and then we also hold all of our um, educational classes for the public, many of which are free, um, and our children's camp, and um, just a number of activities are always happening that are related to gardening or floral design.